So I lost the GoPro and the gimbal. Uh, it sucks. But uh, the good news is, is my mom's gonna try to ride a stand up. Just steer and kind of stay low. Hopefully I'm in the frame. So I know I've been doing a lot of reptile and house videos lately, so I wanted to get back to the skis because I believe, cross fingers, that tomorrow we're actually going to go ski. I think the water temperature is like 50 degrees, but it's been hovering between like 65 and 80. But anyway, I just wanted to do an official introduction. I know I've done a ton of ski videos over the last summer, um, but here is a, a breakdown of, of our, I guess, are stable. So here you've got the Proforce. It's manufactured by Pro Watercraft Racing um, out of Lake Havasu, Arizona, Lake Havasu City, Arizona. And this is an aftermarket hull. It's uh, an 1100 cc triple, I guess you could say swapped, but since it's an aftermarket hull, it's actually made for the triple. It's a two stroke and it's incredibly loud. It sounds amazing. <laughs> ski it's absolutely a blast to ride it's very different than anything I've ever ridden but if I were to say what it's similar to is it's kind of similar to a super jet but a super jet on steroids responsive, fast, sounds amazing, and it's beautiful. I think it's one of the most pretty skis that, uh, that really is, is made right now. Okay, I know you can't see it very well, uh, but I'll insert some pictures and other video and stuff to make it look much better than this. But anyway, this is the Superjet. This is also my husband's, but I currently race it. I raced it at the last World Finals. I took sixth in amateur women's light ski. Uh, sixth place. And I think that's pretty damn good for my second year of racing stand-ups. Uh, the first year I had an SXR that wouldn't start on the second moto, so I didn't even get to place, uh, which was a huge bummer. But uh, right now it's just a stock 701. It's got a thinner head gasket if you saw my lights build. Thinner head gasket, the chokes are removed. Uh, it's got the exhaust insert and that's pretty much it. Uh, I mean, it's got all the handling kit and everything as far as uh, uh, shortened pole, you got the steering quick steer, straight bars, mm, tray kit, sponsons, the destroyer sponsons. I'm really a fan of those. That's how, I mean, I learned how to ride on this ski um, and the SXR and both of them had the Blosion destroyers, so I'm used to them. Um, really great ski. The Superjet, it's a smaller motor, uh, 701 versus the um, 800 in the SXR, which actually isn't an 800. It's more like a 760 something, I believe. I'm not quite sure on that. Uh, but the Superjet, I feel after racing an SXR for a season, I feel the Superjet's easier to ride. Um, it's more forgiving and it has a lot of potential. You'll see a lot of the light skis and limited skis now are going to Superjets. Uh, so. I'm a big fan of the Superjet. I know I said that I wasn't going to be. I was going to be an SX R rider for life, but uh, I gave that up. It's just a two cylinder, two stroke, and it sounds pretty boring. But it's a good ski, uh, a lot of potential. This year I hope to make it 760, but with the house and the reptile stuff, um, I don't know if I'm gonna go limited or not. I may just be riding it like it is, but I got a sweet uh, 760 kit for Christmas from my husband, best husband ever. And, uh, but you have to kind of adjust the cases to get the larger bore um, cylinders in there um, or sleeves. So uh, I gotta get it machined and taken apart, but the way everything's going may not happen. But anyway, I'll, it'll still be fun to race stock or lights. I know you guys have seen, if you follow my channel, you've seen a lot of this, this puppy. In the beginning, I had a very hate relationship with this ski. I had a tough time getting it built and put together. Um, 
not necessarily because of its fault, but I had, you know, engine problems, carb problems, just used bits problems. It was a learning curve, but now I'm actually quite impressed with the ski, how it rides. It's one of the most amazing aftermarket freestyle hulls that I've ridden. Not that I've ridden a whole ton, um, but it's so stable. Like I could ride one handed on an aftermarket small freestyle hull the first time I rode it. Uh, so it's, it's very stable. I cannot wait to take it to the surf. That should be a sweet video because guess what? I got a solo shot for Christmas from my dad. Awesome, by the way. I haven't really had a chance to use it. I tested it once, um, but the surf stuff should be super awesome with that thing. And uh, uh, just so excited for so many th cool things to come. So this ski is, uh, is a Crash Industries uh, 50 cal uh, foot rocket. And it came as, a, it's the stage two kit. You can see my whole build on my YouTube channel. Basically a 760 motor with a Group K845 kit, two cylinder, two stroke, and it's got a B pipe, and that's really it. It doesn't have a whole ton of power. It's peppy. It is definitely peppy uh, compared to like the Superjet. The 845 does have some grunt. But as you've seen, I've tried backflips and even on a, I'm not very skilled at it yet because I just started trying backflips. I've only done probably about 15 backflops in my entire life. It takes a lot of, um, rider skill or a shitload of power, which I don't have a shitload of power and I don't have a lot of skill either. So hence the flops, but uh, it's a heavy ski because it's more of a surf layup. It's uh, these were born in the surf. This is the flat water hull, which has a, a flatter back and uh, it has one less chine on the bottom, but it's basically a surf ski. It's, it's heavy, uh, but it's very tough and Oh, I just can't wait to take it to the surf. But as far as a flat water ski, not really the best for pure flat water. It's, it's wide, it's kind of big, it's heavy, and my motor is not very powerful. So this is our current setup of skis. And we also, this is a Kawasaki 300. I love this thing. It is a single cylinder two stroke. It cannot get out of its own way. Like it is so slow. It slides everywhere. It doesn't even have a uh, lanyard kill switch. So it's kind of scary to ride because it'll just keep going. It'll run away from you. So every time that I've ridden it, I've had to be really conservative because I don't want to, I always, I do fall, but I don't want to fall off and separate from it. But uh, this thing's super awesome. I love it and I hope to do some more videos with it. I've got a sponsor uh, that I haven't told you guys about yet, but I have a sponsor that I'd like to uh, work with on this ski and uh, some of the other skis, but uh, I think it'll be really fun because this thing is, uh, it's just silly, silly fun. No power, fun to ride, small. Actually, it's bigger than my crash, but uh, that's how aftermarket holes go for you. But this is a, uh, I don't know, this thing's older than I am. So, but she's still going. So what, that's what's amazing. The original jet ski. So much more to come. Just wanted to get this out there and hopefully tomorrow we can ride. I'll get this video uploaded and uh, there's gonna be a ton more reptile stuff. Just warning you, more house build. Um, everything's going so good. I'm so tired. You can probably see my raccoon eyes, but uh, Life is good, life is good. Life is very busy right now, but life is good. So I hope the same is going for you and uh, like, subscribe, give me a comment, tell me what you think.